What's up everyone? God bless you and I hope everyone's having a beautiful, positive and blessed day on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. Guys, it's the middle of the week. We already know we're trying to master the week. We're trying to get this week going, but the middle of the week is usually where a shift happens. Either you're in the zone or not in the zone. You started something, but you might have stopped by now. So today I want to talk to you about how thankful I am for consistency. I'm thankful for consistency. And the way I say it is that, Lord, I am thankful for the consistency in my life. A lot of us struggle with this. A lot of us have an issue with consistency. We have an issue of starting something, but not finishing it. Beginning something and in the middle, second guessing our decision of why did we do this? I don't like it. I don't want to keep going. I, I kind of, I changed my mind. We do that often in our lives, every day of our whole life, we second guess ourselves. And that's something that's normal for the majority, but if you're not progressing in life, it's because you are second guessing yourself a little bit too much. You're not giving yourself the credit that you deserve, that you should be in. For me, back in 2011, I was the most inconsistent person you will ever find when it came to myself. To a lot of other things, I was very consistent, but to myself, I wasn't very, I wasn't too consistent. My health, my fitness was not consistent until I started a workout program that, you know, pushed me past my limit for sure. And it allowed me to finally complete something that I started that it wasn't a sport, that it wasn't baseball or bowling, because those are the only two things that honestly that I started and completed besides going to school, which I had no choice. <laughs> but besides that, like, I feel that consistency is the game changer of our lives. Consistency is the one thing a lot of us lack because of the fear of failure, the fear of of mistakes, the fear of being judged. Because we start something, we're so freaking excited internally, we're so pumped up, we're so like, I want to go in, I want to go all in into this, this project that we're doing, this venture that we're doing, this situation that we're doing, the fitness, the health, whatever it is that you're pursuing, you're excited at first. Then something happens. Then you start, then people start talking about it. People start questioning you about it. And when people question you, guess what? Now you're questioning yourself. Now you're putting yourself at the bottom of the barrel because you feel that maybe what you're doing isn't good. But it's funny because I read something today that says it doesn't matter what society shows you of that thing that you're going to pursue, right? Because society shows us that all these people are doing the exact same thing. Everybody's doing the exact same thing. Yet you feel, but by you jumping in the bandwagon, right, that you're not going to succeed because everybody else is doing it. But you know what? If God placed that thing in front of you, it's because there's room for you. Everyone has their unique direction of life. Everybody has their unique gift in whatever area you are pursuing. Imagine if a baseball player saw another baseball player succeeding. You need nine players to play. But imagine if the mindset was, there's a player out there, but he's better than me. I don't want to play anymore. I'm done. I don't want no part of this. Imagine if sports in general were actually judgmental enough to you to think twice about playing because of that other person doing a better job than you. That's life. You're second guessing yourself because of somebody else's success, somebody somebody else's beginning, somebody else's middle, somebody else's ending or, you know, continuation. We need to stop judging ourselves based on other people's successes. That's why we are so inconsistent. The only reason why we're in and I'm speaking for myself, the only reason why we're so inconsistent is because we feel we got to be like everybody else, but we don't have to. Are we doing the same thing? Yeah, but we're doing it different. You can be different. 
I I have a beautiful saying that I I say it as much as I can is that I'm not perfect. I'm different. I don't want to be like you and I don't want you to be like me. How many motivational speakers are out there? How many influential people out there? How many writers and book writers? Imagine if the one person that wrote the best book in the world, the next person said he wrote the best book in the world. I'm not going to write. What's the point? He did it already. Doesn't work that way. You need to handle yourself. This is your foundation right here. This is all you. But you got to build the faith and the consistency to pursue whatever it is you desire. You deserve it. You have so much to offer. You have, you could be 18 years old. You could be 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years old. You got so much to offer other people based on your personal experiences. You don't have to do what everybody else did. You could do it the way you feel comfortable doing it because that's what consistency is based on feeling comfortable of what you're doing. If you love what you're doing, you're gonna stay consistent. If you dislike what you're doing based on somebody else's opinion of you, you're gonna stop. I don't want you to lose consistency. You don't deserve that. You don't deserve to stop being consistent based on somebody else's opinion that don't even know you like that. People only know what you tell them. How many secrets do you hold inside that you don't wanna tell other people because you're afraid to be judged? I want you to own and hold on to the consistency that you have in your life in maybe being a parent, being a great worker, uh, being a great friend. Sometimes we we look at consistency on materialistic things. We look at consistency as earning money or something like that. But why don't we look at the little details of life that Maybe you are more consistent in, but you don't value it as much. Like for women, if you're, if you take care of your kids every day, you, you travel with them to school, their, their sports and all that stuff, that's consistency. That's amazing consistency. If you're a man that wakes up every morning and goes to work, that's consistency. So why are you denying yourself consistency to improve your inner self, your inner strength, your health, your fitness, whatever it may be, your mindset? Why are you inconsistent with that? Without being consistent in that thing, a lot of other things in your life are gonna suffer. They're gonna go through a bad situation. You don't want that. We don't want to be remembered as the guy that started something amazing but stopped because he got scared. You don't want to do that. And I don't want you to do that. I'm tired of doing that. I've done that in the past and I don't want to do it anymore, which is why these videos are so powerful for me because this is all natural. You give me a topic and I'm going to talk about it because it's, it's what I hold inside of myself every single day. And I want you to do the same thing. Find something you're so passionate about and talk about it. Do something with it. Trust me, guys. My goal is to create the altitude of vision in your life, to create self-awareness in the things you lack in. Those You lack self-awareness in a lot of areas in your life. But I need you to understand what you just became self-aware of so that you can have the faith to pursue it. That's my goal for doing what I do right now. So guys, thank you so much for taking the time. Guys, please don't forget, like, comment, share if you feel that this spoke to you, if it gave you some validation of consistency. And if it did, thank you. And always remember, God bless you. And always remember, never forget to have faith, not fear. Why? Because faith always ignites the healing within the consistency. God bless you. Peace out.